Hey everyone, this is Okami for Okami Gaming and I'm giving you guys a little fix for every AMD user using SLI in Battlefield 1. Today we're going over some of the specific things you need to do to fix your SLI problems in uh, SLI problems in Battlefield 1. Uh, this is something you basically have to do right now till they fix some new drivers or to do some optimization for us AMD users. It seems like I always fucking use up when they're starting a game. Uh, but like you can see, I've been updating my drivers to 16.10.2. Before it, I had really shitty, so I had basically updated my drivers either way. Uh, but one of the things that basically happened is that when I used my SLI, I got really a lot of stutters. Same as my FS went all over the place, and at some point my drivers just said, you know, my graphics card couldn't do it. And this is really weird because my graphics cards are stable. I've been testing them with the uh, Max and also been playing a lot of other games, maxing them free completely out, and it works. So how do you fix this? Well, the biggest thing is I basically just tried disabling my uh, AMD Crossfire when I was in uh, disabling it. This did help me some. It did give me some frames back. My card was a lot stable, the first one. But it felt like I was always getting some stutter lags here and there. And it also took a lot of my processors for some reason. I don't know what is going on right here. The second thing is... I turned, had my Opal triple buffing on this on just for, for stable on my other game. I have this off in the profile I'm going to show you right now. So you want to keep this on, you don't want to turn it off. Secondary, you want to make an active profile. You can even do this by adding the file directly, going in, finding your files or scanning the game. Uh, once you find it, uh, the file you want to be finding is your BF1 EXE. And it's the same thing for any other game you're going to be having. But for the BF1, we want to go to your files where you have it, Battlefield 1 and BF1 EXE. Not the, basically the launcher, but the game itself. Once you want to go into the profile graphics. So this is the graphics you want to be changing. And what we want to be doing here is two things. Turn off open and buffering. Uh, same as set your call textures to... I basically set it to utility just to get the highest amount of frames. Because that's what I care about. And you want to be uh, taking your AMD crossfire mode and basically turn it off. I tried to have it on standards. I tried uh, the predefined from Battlefield 3, 1 and 2. It still lags out the game. It still says that my driver can't handle it and my cards can't handle it. But if I am in another game having my sly on, it works completely fine. Meaning this is an in-game, something they done in-game to basically fuck this up. I don't know what they're doing, but there's something they're doing. This is basically what you have to do outside the game. Else than that, what you also can do then to maximize your FPS in the game is to, if you have this, you can basically overdrive your GPU. Uh, what's really cool about this, this uh, the AMD GPU graphics on this is that it can't go over its max in either way. And if it does, it's going to turn itself down if it feels like it's going to get overheated. But I've been playing on this right here for hours when I'm playing Battlefield, and the card has never gone over 71 degrees, meaning it's really, really, really good. Now, what do you do inside the game then? Well, let's take a look, shall we? So when you get inside the game, uh, what you basically want to be doing is you want to be adding, you want to be going to your, you basically going to be here, you want to be going to the options, you want to go to your video files, uh, your video settings, you want to go to the advanced, and you want to turn off DX12. This made my game lag so much. It works really great when I have SLI, if I can use SLI, then it fixes my, it gets turns on my SLI. But if I don't have my SLI on, this basically lags the shit out of my computer. Same thing, turn this shit off. What it basically, what it basically says it's doing is, it, when having this on, it doesn't take so much of your GPU. So if you have a weak GPU, like a weaker card, but a really strong uh, CPU, so your central processing unit, you, it basically takes power from the CPU and turns it into, uh, into memory so you can get more FPS out of it. The problem with this is it turns your CPU crazy. I got a 4.6 gigahertz uh, right now, uh, 4.6 gigahertz 8 core, and with all the cores uh, enabled into the game, or inf just having turning this off, having you know, had this on with this on, having all my cores on onto that game, it lags out my game to like 90% or even up to 99% of my central processing unit. With this off, it now it turns tables at 60 and even can add less cores, meaning I can have more cores onto my when I'm streaming, when I'm recording, and it makes the game less laggy for me. I hope this guys helped you basically fix some of the problems you have with uh, the game itself. Uh, next, if you want to, I can make a guide on how to set up your keybindings and also how I set up my keybindings and also how you can set up 
uh, some of the old things in the game, like for example the sensitivity in this game is really really different. Uh, there's a lot of things you need to understand before you can get a really really good feel of it. Uh, but I hope these guys helped you, and if it did, leave a like, uh, comment and subscribe for more gaming content. Like I said, I'm not only doing Battlefield, but this is the game that I'm really love playing right now. I really love having FPS, I really love playing, and I hope this guy's gonna help you. i see you guys later.